Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. So we'll try to do one small exercise and we'll try to see what is the importance of this home command and how we try to understand all these options or all the tools what is given here. So what I'll do is let me create a new sheet. I don't want to work here. Even though you have a sheet number one, we'll try to input one more sheet. So what you're supposed to do, there's a plus option, isn't it? You click on that. So once you click on that, what will happen? A new sheet will open up. Since I already had opened another three, four sheets and I deleted. So what has happened is it is directly showing me sheet number seven. But in your case, it will be showing you sheet number two. Okay. You don't have to worry. Anyhow, if not, I'll go with a different sheet. Like you can see here, this is sheet number one, where I've given a different name to that. But what you can do, you click on this plus option. So it will open up another sheet. So this is sheet number one. It is mentioning here sheet number one. So whatever number let it come in your page, we don't have to worry. I'll tell you how to change the name of this also. So once it is open, you just right click on this. You keep your mouse here, right click. You can see your option here, which is called as rename. Let me do it again. Keep your mouse here, right click here. This option called as rename. Click on that. And now you write whatever you want to write. For example, practice. This is my practice sheet. I'll write practice sheet. If you want to give practice sheet 01, give it 01 and press the enter button. Finish. So this is the name of a sheet what I have given. Now if you want to add one more sheet, you can come here, click on that. So it will say sheet number two. Then again, right click on this. Go to the rename option. And again, you can write practice sheet 02. Okay, fine. And you can give a space and hit the enter button. So it will come like this. Is it understood? Anyhow, I'll go to the practice sheet one now. So let me make use of this options. Like if I come to the home option, I have something called as bold. Then we have this italic. Then we have this underline and all these options, right? So let me start with this. You can take any random options. Like all these are the different cells what I have. Okay. So I'll, I'll take the name of few Indian cricketers and I'll try to put the age also. Okay. So we'll do something like that. So what I'll do is I'll start with Sachin Tendulkar. You can take your friend name also. Anything can be okay. Okay, Tendulkar. I'll just write it down. Sachin Tendulkar. Then I'll go with Ganguly. Okay, fine. Then I'll go with uh, Dravid. Then I'll go with Yuraj. And then I'll go with Taif. Uh, okay, few old players I've taken. Okay, fine. So what I've done, I've written their name. Now what I'll do is, I'll uh, just write what is their age? Okay. Sachin Tendulkar. I'll, I'll just randomly I'm writing something. Okay. Fine. Uh, let us say Tendulkar is something 48 years of age. Ganguly is like 51. Okay. Dravid I'll say like 49 years of age. Yuraj I'll go with uh, 40. I'm not sure. I'm just randomly. KF let us say I'm putting 46 now. Okay. Fine. Is it done? So two things I've done. I've, I've written the name of the cricketers. I've written the, what is that? Age of age, their age. Okay. Now what I want to do now, I want to write one more column where I am going to write number of ODI matches what they have played. So, but one problem that came to me is that I want to write the number of matches what they played next to this, like before this column, I want that to happen. Actually what happened, I, I, writ, I have written their name after writing their name, I have directly put the age, but now I want this ages to come later. I want the number of matches played. So what I do, one simple option, what you people can do, you delete everything. You write the number of matches played and the next row in the next column, you write there this thing. What is that? Ages. Instead of doing that, we can use one shortcut command. That is, see, I want to put the ages before this, right? So this is a column what I have. I want to put there number of matches played, number of matches what they played should come before this. It should come here. Okay, so in that case, what you can do is simple. You go to this option H, okay, on this command, click on this and say control and H. So what has happened? What I did, I'll do it again. See, I want a column before this H column. I want one more column. So I'll keep my mouse here and in your keyboard, you go with the option. There is an option called as control and H. I'll write it here. Control plus. So click on this, a new column will be inserted. Okay. I'm keeping it here and I'm saying control and plus. So what has happened now by default, automatically your rows, uh, your column got shifted. Now you write their number of matches played. I'm, I'm taking some random values. 
let us say Tendulkar played 300 ODI matches, Ganguly played 250, Dravid let us say 255, Yuraj let us say 189 and KF let us say 150. Got it, right? So this is how it is. So I've written the name of a player. I've written the number of matches what he has played. Also, I've written the age. Now, I'm able to understand like this is the name of a player. This is the number of matches played by the person, by the player and this age. When I give this sheet to someone, he doesn't know what is this 48, 51 and all. So in that case, what I'll do, I'll just come here. I'll say this is name. This indicates the name. Okay. And then I'll say this indicates the matches played. You can do that also matches played. And this one indicates what it is age. So, I, but if I come and write here age, it will get merged here. See, I've written age, but it is coming like this. So it's not clearly visible, right? So in that case, what you can do, you just come here. You can see this particular column. You can, when you keep it here, no, you get this plus symbol. Click on that and you just drag it like this. Drag it to the right side. So now you can see the entire name of Tendulkar, entire thing is coming in a single row, single column. In the same way, come here. So again, matches played is showing here. Okay. Matches played, it is showing. This is your formula bar. So matches played is being shown here. But here it is not clearly visible. So again, click here. You have this option, right? And right click it here. So now you can see matches played is coming. Similarly, age is clearly visible. If you want to increase the width of this, you can increase the width of this. Got it, right? So this is how you are supposed to create a sheet. Now this sheet is not looking good. I mean, it's not that attractive. Now let, let me make this attractive. How can I make this attractive? First, I'll select this entire thing. This entire thing. Okay. And I'll give a border to this. So we have this option here. And you can, we'll go with different, there are different options, but I'll go with all borders now. What I, what I did, I just selected this, this entire thing I selected. I came here and I said all borders. So now you can see everywhere the border has come. So now it's looking a good, a bit good. After that, now this name, this matches played and age. I will make it little bold. Okay. So what you can do, you just select it here and you just drag it like this. So all everything will be selected like this. You can drag it. So once you drag, you can see this option B. B stands for bold. And whenever you click on this, you see what is a shortcut button. The shortcut button is control B. You can see there, right? Control B. So I'll click here. Now I made it bold. Now I'll do one more thing. I'll say control Z. So whenever you want to go back, I mean, whenever whatever command you are executed, if you don't want to, if you don't want that, if you want to go for the back command, or you want it to remain as it is, you go with control Z. So when I do control Z, it has come to the normal. So this is another shortcut which you need to remember. Control Z. So control Z is called as redo. Okay. Fine. So again, what I'll do now, I'll instead of uh, selecting, instead of selecting and going B, I'll just write control B, control B. So automatically it will get bold instead of going here. Selecting and going here. I'll make use of a shortcut control B. I'll do it once again. I selected this. So in your keyboard, you just press control and B. Automatically, it will take bold. So you can see name matches played and age is in bold. Okay. So one problem which is which which have which we have a problem is that this particular column what I have no, it's actually not required. Not required. Unnecessary I'll put this column. Okay. So what I do, I can delete this column. For deleting a column, what you can select. You select in this way and you just right click here. This option called as delete. I'll do it once again. This is a column which I don't require. I'll select here. Do a right click in your mouse. This option called as delete. So you delete it. So it got deleted. Got it? So that is how you are supposed to do it. So now name is there. Match, match, matches. Okay. Yeah. Matches played and age. Now again, you see the alignment. The alignment is not good. No, This particular thing, what you can see, it has gone to the right side. This is also the right side. This is on the left side. Anyhow, the alignment part I'll teach you in the next lecture. Right now, we have understood the bold. Now we'll go to the italic. Now this names, whatever I have, no, I'll make it italic. So what I'll do, I'll just select like this. Keep your mouse here and you drag it like this. You can see this option, italic. Again, you see there, control I. That is a shortcut command. So I'll click on this. Can you see? Everything has got slanted. I mean, it's a italic uh, font what we have. Okay, I'll say control Z again. Instead of clicking here, I'll have selected here and I'll say control I. What will happen? It will be exactly. It will get a italic font here. 
okay fine now come to the matches played and ages now here what i'll do in the age portion i'll just underline them let us say i want to underline it so what i'll do i'll select like this you can see option here underline click on that so you can see everywhere it is underlined again if you don't want to do that you select it make use of your shortcut command that is control and u so it will be underlined okay you can see it is underlined similarly in the name also if you want to underline select it and say control u so it will be underlined got it so this were the options which i wanted to inform which i wanted to teach you in this particular lecture other than that we'll go with the other options like the font option the font also let me cover it here now the sachin tendulkar ganguly dravid whatever it is it's not looking so good so let me make the let me change the font of it so what i'll do i'll just select this i'll go to this drop down option here and here your lot of fonts you have okay whichever font you want you whichever font you want to adopt you can take it now it's not visible what i'll do is i'll just drag it and keep I mean, i'll do one thing select it I'll keep it here okay you can do that also just for you to make you understand i'm doing that okay what we i'll select this names okay now i'll go to this drop down now you see everything will change here so if i keep this if i go with this abadi so it's looking like this if i go with arial it will look like this suppose if i go with uh, this basker will old face it will look like this so whichever font you want you try to keep that okay i think i'll go with the normal this one candara light this looks good this is also good okay i'll go with this so i'll select this okay and i'll say enter finish and now it's not looking no you just increase the width of this you just drag it on the right side so it will look like this so such and look a gangly dravid uraj and gave matches played and age got it similarly if you want to increase the size of this anyhow i'll bring it to the center i'll select it i'll drag and i'll keep it here yeah again i'll increase this fine now let me go with the last option what i have that is to increase the font now this matches played and age i'll increase the size of this so what i'll do i'll just select it in this way once you select you have this option here so right now it is showing 11 what is the size what what you have it is 11 size so i selected here all the number what i've, in, I've done an input here it is showing 11 so i'll just drop down here i'll go with 14 so you can see there is increase in the size 16 18 20 whichever you want so when you're increasing the size your row height is also increasing if you want 26 keep 26 and finish it off got it you can see it has increased now similarly you can increase even from here also like if i keep it here so if i click you see here okay i'll do once again i'll just select everything and you see here if you want to do you can increase like this you can keep on clicking it will keep on increasing if you want to decrease the size you can decrease from here also either you come here and do that else even from here you can do the moment you're doing it from here you see there's a change in number now it has gone to 12 i'll click on this it has come to 11 i'll click on this it has come to 10 if i want to increase i'll click on this it has gone to 11 12 there's an increase in the size 14 then we have 16 we have 18 and we have 20. the moment i keep on increasing no from this entire font will not be visible whatever i've written here no it won't be visible you see here tendulkar r is already gone inside this uh, row again i'll increase this i'll increase it. it's not visible so now what you do you click here and you just drag it here so it will be visible got it so this were the options which we which i wanted to explain because whatever i learned from here no, when we apply all these things in the real projects we need it tomorrow let us say you got something like this and somebody told make me a proper alignment and give see whatever i explain you know you see the application here this noida institute of engineering and technology they have made it bold how did they make make it they selected like this and they came they selected here like if i make it unbold now it looks like this i'll make it bold i'll select this i'll go with bold okay so this is how you do practically so in the same way if i want to uh, change this uh, names like you have all these names i'll select all the names now okay i'll drag it and now i'll go with this one italic okay you can see everything it has changed so when you do the presentation or when you want to prepare a wonderful excel sheets so this is how you try to uh, use all these commands and that this is the application of it okay so most of the things i've explained now in the same way you can see the columns and the rows has been put here so that that was actually put using this all borders suppose if i don't want to put any row and column i want it a blank sheet like this i'll select everything here okay once i select it i'll go to this option and i'll say no border you can see the option no border 
Now you see there is no border. All the border has disappeared. Now let us say I want a border, but I want only outer border. So in that case, what I'll do, I want only the border here. I'll just select it here and I'll go here and I'll say all borders. So it will look like this. Now again, I'll select from here in this way. Okay. And I'll go here, all borders. So this is how those, uh, whatever stuff we have here, no, all these things. We'll cover all these things in a more detailed way. Like what is this bottom border, top, left, uh, erase border, draw border, each and everything will cover it in the later part. Now, whatever is required, those things I'm trying to explain you. So with the help of all these things, we try to apply this on the real projects, what we have done. So this is one of a project where we have a student's marks. We have made use of this commands, the border command, and we have done something like this. This is uh, with the help of a bold command we have done. If I want to underline the uh, marks, let us say I want to underline their marks. I'll select everything. Okay. And then I'll go to this option here. I'll click on this. So all the marks you can see it has been underlined. Okay. So this underline command you can use, uh, let us say if somebody has failed. Okay. Let, let me give you the practical example of this. So I'll select this. I'll click on underline. So there is, let us say there are few students who failed in the exam. Let us say this guy. Okay. I'm randomly choosing. See, when you want to choose multiple cells, you have to make use of your control button. So if I select here, it will disappear from here. If I select here, this will disappear. So when you select here, when you go for the next selection, make use of your control button on a keyboard and then select this, then select this, then select this, then again, select this. You have to keep, I mean, your control button should be pressed. Select this, select this, select this. Now I'll say underline. So when I do underline, what has happened? It, in, it indicates that wherever I have done the underline, it means those students have failed. Of course, they have not failed. The marks is pretty good, but still I'm giving an example. So this 19 has failed. Let us say 25 guy also has failed. Okay. According to our logic, again, 25 has failed. So that is the application of this underline command, or maybe somewhere you want to underline, you can make use of this command and get it done. Get, got it. So I hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here. So in the next lecture, I'll go with the uh, other things like uh, how to make use of this uh, fill option, how to make use of these options and how to make use of the, uh, the alignment options and all. Okay. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.